What is going on guys and gals? I apologize if there's some humming in the mic. For some reason I can't seem to figure that out, but I don't know if you can hear it on your end. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to go over adding custom voice to a custom NPC. We're going to start bare bones. Uh, I haven't done anything in here yet, so I'm going to create a quick NPC, but I'm not going through all the steps just to show you how to add the voice. So we're going to call this AAA uh, Rogue. And then what the idea for this one would be, which I'm not going to create it, but would be Rogue Guard, like a guard that went AWOL or something and decided to fight the man. I don't know. Uh, and then we're going to go to Traits. I'm going to change this to a Nord because that would make more sense, wouldn't it, in Skyrim. And I'm going to leave uh, the voices male even tone right now. We're going to leave that where it is. So if I go back, it doesn't matter if I do this. I just automatically do that stuff anyway. So we've created the guard. That's all we're doing there. The next thing we need to do is we need to create his voice. So let's go into here under character and voice type. Let's right click and hit new. And I'm going to call it uh, male rogue. It's going to be male allow default dialogue, which is a lot of the dialogue that is used with any NPC in the game that is in a certain form list. And I'll show you that in a moment. So our voice is now created. We actually sh should have it right down here. There it is. We're going to go back to the actor that we created. We're going to open this back up and we're going to add the voice. At this point, once this is added, uh, the voice is now actually in here. Uh, so in reality, your voice file that you created is now in the NPC right now, right? But it's not going to say anything that are vanilla lines like hellos, goodbyes. It's actually not going to say anything, even if you added voice in. There are two ways to do this. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add the vanilla side of the game, the, the normal stuff that they add to every one of them. But if you open, if we go to quest, so most of the dialogue that are the hellos, goodbyes, the combat, is under generic dialogue quest. So just put in generic dialogue. Now, be very cautious when you open up vanilla quest. If you're going to, on the quest data, not when you open it, when you close it. In quest data, you're going to see one of the conditions is this. Get his voice type, default NPC voice types in a form list. So right now, inside of here, your NPC isn't here yet, the voice you created. So close this back out, go down to form list, and you want to look for the default NPC. And there's only one right here. You want to open this up. Put this right here. Now we're going to remove this out of the filter window. Let's go back down to voice type. Find your rogue. And then click and drag it in. Now scroll down and make sure it went in. And hit OK. Now from here, we can go back into the quest. And we'll go back to generic. And now when you open this up, we'll, we'll just use some of it so you can see... Uh, we'll go with the basic one. So in miscellaneous, there's all kinds of, this is the idol when they're saying the ground, saying stuff. This is just generic stuff. Uh, leave the water. And, but down here you have generic hellos. So down through here, you can see the different voice types here. And a lot of them will show they already have a voice type to it. Now, when you get to these ones that don't have anything for a voice type in it, these are for all voices, basically. All voices will be covered in it that are in that form list. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, you're going to see your male rogue. So if I was, now that we have that there, I'm going to open up this and I'm not going to go into high detail of creating a really good voice file. I've, I've been through that and other things. All I'm going to do is, now this one says yes. If I wanted to add something different, you don't want to be that generic. Uh, what can I do for you would be a hello. Um, yeah, almost felt that right. And I'm sure that's one of them anyway, but I just, the shorter words in the synth sometimes are harder to generate in a decent way. Let's open up this file where the files are going to go to. And we got mail guard. Now, again, the reason I'm not given an absolute area where I'm going to the voice files, I already have tutorials on how to use the synth. So we're going to go down to mail guard is the one I'm going to use for this to add to this follower. Now, if you wanted to add something else in it from a different game, like the only other one I get in here right now is Triss from The Witcher, you could. But we'll stick to this. Mail guard. 
I'm just showing you how to add custom voice to a custom NPC. So let's generate this file. What can I do for you? Now it didn't come out that great, but I'm not going to worry about that right now because I'm not. All I'm doing is showing how to do it. Now back in the one you took, you have to take the file name, the voice file name, and go back into here and add it. Boom, boom. There you go. There's one. Now cancel. Very, very important. X out or cancel because you don't want to alter vanilla files. So now we have another one here. We'll do the same thing. Uh, we'll just add. Now, when you're adding something different than what the line says, where it says, hmm, and you're adding what is it, the, the subtitle isn't going to match for the voice of this one. I don't use the subtitles anyway, but it might affect someone who does use them. It doesn't matter to me. But you can't change them in the vanilla quest without altering the quest. And you don't want to do that because then it becomes incompatible with other mods. What is it? See, these voice files, are, but I'm not trying to make them come out. I'm just putting stuff in. So we're going to go with these two. Uh, keep the sample. Let's go back into our folder. Now we got two of them. What I would usually do is I would go down through and I would get all these different files and I would make them and I would tag them to where they got to go. And then I'm just going to take use these two for now. I'm going to cut it. And now we got to go into, we got to do a couple things actually. We got to go into a data folder for the game. Go down to sounds. Go to voice. And I think I've already added this one in here because I was playing around earlier with this. You want to go to Skyrim ESM. Now, in here, I already think I did a male rogue. I did. But you would, let's say, well, actually, what we'll do is this. We'll just delete this out. And then if I went, just as create a new folder and name it exactly what you had inside there. Just like that. So then take open that folder and paste your two lines in. So now these are in here. If I close this, X this out, X this out. And then I open these back up. You can actually go back in if you want to and generate the lip files. And the lip files aren't generated from the subtitles. They're generated. See, it says, yes, there is a WAV file right here. You could actually generate it right there. What I suggest doing in the vanilla ones, though, is a lot easier way to do it. Make 50, 100 files, whatever you need to do. X out. Go up to gameplay. Facial animations. And hit force. This will go through when any files that are WAV files that you put in the folders for the mod or in the Sky, Skyrim ESM folder, it will generate all the lip files for you. Really the easiest way to do it. It'll show us non-responding and all that. Just let it, the blue circle, run until it's done. And all of a sudden you'll have all your lip files. So that is the way to add generic voice. Now if you want to add, let's say a follower, an innkeeper, or something like that, you're going to go back to... Uh, Let's go to the follower quest. And dialogue follower. Now, if you look over in here, this is how you tell what you need to make a quest work. Um, let's go to the trade. So if you were, let's say you want to add it in here, you're going to see these different voice types, orc, rough, neutral, then the rest. So you're going to want to go with the formless ones if you want to add it into vanilla. What do you want me to carry isn't in here because of this. It, it's got to be in the vo voice type follower neutral. It's got to be in the current follower faction. And not in potential hiring. So you'd have to take your NPC and add the proper factions to that. And there's many tutorials how to already do that. So to get into the different vanilla quests, you've got to just check the dialogue to see which actual factions you need to add to your NPC and it will put you in the quest for the game. I know this is a short tutorial and a very simple one. I just wanted to get you guys started so you can see how to do it. I am going to make a more advanced one on how to make your own custom quest because that's very important when you want to make a like uh, Gallus in Skyrim Shroud of Secret has four quests alone that runs our dialogue. So I will show you how to do that. That'll be a, a very lengthy tutorial and I will get that when I get the time. I hope this helped you guys get started and I hope you guys have a good night.